165 stars in this? Have I played this? I feel like maybe I've played this. I don't know. No way I played a 165 star hack and wouldn't remember it, right? Kind of sounds like Peach. Special thanks to all these, all these bros. All right, it's been two years since your adventure in Peach's Castle. I have a problem. I have to start over because that didn't make sense in my head. I have a problem is that, okay, so it didn't make sense. I have a problem is that the castle in front of you is the legendary castle of the stars which has been locked up for a thousand years but now it has been opened by Bowser. Please save Princess Peach, she is captured in this legendary castle. You know that we Goombas are disguised as shy guys because Bowser no longer needs us. He thinks we are useless troops for this mission. You should kick his butt for rejecting the Goombas. Okay, typical jank rom hack stuff. Part of me feels like maybe I did play this, but I don't have any memory of this hub. When you defeat the piranha plants, the entire swamp will go back to normal and turn day again. Okay. I feel like I definitely haven't played this, but I don't know. It's under the impression that I did. Also, they're going to spawn me right in front of a swamp, as if I don't know why they put this here. Okay, I am interested in uh, seeing it like turn daytime or whatever. Noises are kind of interesting. This is an interesting game. Interesting is the word I'm going with because the levels look kind of flat and empty so far. First impression. It's literally only one stage. And the hub was really pretty. But uh, <laughs> other than that, I would go with the word interesting. Oh. Uh, cool. I hope. I hope someone can respect what I was going for there. I was going for an epic gamer moment. Not a not a huge fan of the piranhas, gotta say. I like that one of them is in that thing. You know the the pot. But uh, only one of them are. Oh, don't you do not! I, I'm gonna die. I really already hate that I've done, started doing this. I just kind of want to get out of here. <laughs> you can build up so much speed that way. I <laughs> really almost didn't want to. Not with this many coins. I'll save that adventure for later. Alright, the sign better tell me how I get back. There seems something outwardly wrong with the design of putting the sign down here. You know? There seems something like maybe not good design-wise to have put the sign down here instead of maybe up there. Personally, pretty, pretty stupid, pretty dumb. Oh no, they're the chomp and out of bounds, poor dude. They gave me nothing to work with to get back. This levitate, I don't really want to because like, it didn't take very long to get... Get this red coin last. I got some choice words for the guy who put the sign down there. <laughs> I should have known better. I mean, no, that's not my fault. I, I can't I can't pretend like that's my fault. It, it wasn't my fault. They just shouldn't have been like that. I'm not taking credit for that. I almost did. I think maybe here? Okay. I must be missing one. <laughs> I think if the fire hit me, I wouldn't have died anyway. Might be dead. Oh no, I'm fine. I'm saving this. Alright, let's see if the whole level changes, like that sign I read said. Is it more daytime? Is it different? Skybox changed? I think 8 reds is gonna be probably not very fun here. What? Oh! That didn't occur to me at all. That was like shocking. Yeah, that Koopa was operating under two... <laughs> Two rides make a wrong. 
or two wrongs make a right or something. I don't remember. There's one down here too. Grab this. I am a little bit intimidated by this cloud. Not gonna lie. These red coins are pretty hidden as well. Okay, was there any down here? What the hell is this? Okay. Sure. I'll buy it. I was certain that this would have killed me every single time I've come over here. Like, I, I normally don't want to be told where things are. Like a rule of thumb. But uh, if someone sees this red coin, yeah, I definitely want to know where it is. The most flattest, blandest level of all time. <laughs> I don't want to look for one coin forever. Ah, there it is. Okay, that's the last one. <sighs> Lovely. You guys want to know why that happened? You want to know the truth behind why I died that way? Because I was going to jump dive right off the stage. And I was going to pause the game, and I was going to yell like I did it on accident. And I was going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe it. And people were going to spam lol, and then I was going to unpause the game and be perfectly fine. Get the last coins off the stage over there. Not what happened. I had the full game plan. Someone's making Mario 64 in Galaxy. What a weird concept. On top of Bowser's house. How do I get up there? I know how to get up there. Say no more, fam. But yeah, what a bizarre concept that would be. Oh, I can't even be LJ up there from here. It's not enough height. I have no idea what that means. I have no idea how to get up there. There's no parallel walls that I have found yet that might allow me to get up there. These are almost parallel. But they aren't. Surely there's something I'm missing. On top of Bowser's house. <laughs> How could that name pertain to pertain to anything that's in this level? Of you saw it go north. Sure, go north. Tell me when to stop, bees. Have I gone north enough? Too far north. This is not even close to an obvious thing, right? I am open to ideas. Exit course. No. I'm sure I'm gonna live. This is totally reasonable. Fine. Information. Give me. When you enter the level and then you go out, you could not go to levels 1 and 2 because the screen would freeze. That's cool. You would have to restart the game to enter the level 1 and 2 before playing at a level. You should know this. First you get the 100 coin star before the red coin star. You should know this. What's wrong with you, you fucking idiot? How about the sign that says, You should know that I put the last red coin in a spot because I hate humans, and maybe... Maybe... <laughs> maybe be wary of that. Put the last red coin in the most fuck you spot in the world. There's a warning down there just in case it's too late. Open two ideas. There are no bad ideas as to how to get up there. Not a single bad idea. I opened all of them. When I said there are no bad ideas, I was so wrong, sorry. There are lots of bad ideas. There's something down there. It's on the hood and work! Forehead is actually the right answer! Dev pipe? There's a dev pipe in my Mario 64 level? That is not a big discovery. You know what that tells me? It means that for me to 100% this game, I'm in for a goddamn journey of non-stop bullshit. If this, if this made it into the director's edition of the game, I'm in for non-stop bullshit. Maybe use the shy guy to get on some of the platforms on the side of the place. Yeah, this is, this is a hack. This is now the stuff that I have to resort to doing. And what do you know? Pre on the right track, I think. I'm giving this hack the benefit of the doubt that it's not really bad. This is only the first level I've been to. The hub looks really good. And I think people typically get better at designing levels 
as they continue to design levels. That's probably why the hub looks so good. I'm sure if I go to a different level, especially one that was made, you know, at a later date, uh, it's probably, probably pretty good. It's probably a pretty good level. It's just, it's not that I have such faith in anti-good hacks, whatever that means. It's just I, I've been around the bush, you know? I've been around the block a few times. Shave my bush, and you talk bad about my bush. I don't think that's the same. It's a Malifors. Alright, check it out. I'm about to I'm about to change your guys' mind immediately. Let me restart the game, because apparently the current stage three crash is stage one and two. But let me uh let me restart the game. I'm gonna change your mind immediately. I'm going to jump in a different level, any level, random choice, and it's gonna be it's gonna be so good. It it's gonna have like really good theming. It's gonna be good enemy placements. There's not gonna be giant long stretches of flat land. It's not gonna look empty. There's not gonna be bullshit hidden off the side of the level in multiple different places. Let me show you guys. Let me open up your mind to this level. Breeze Polar Land. An instant winner. An instant winner. And I, I, have I played this before? <laughs> have I played this before? <laughs> Sorry, I am having a different experience in my head than the rest of you. I, I most certainly have played this before. This is a fever dream. You think I've played a demo of this before? God, that has to be true. This is obtusely familiar. Hello! I know beyond any reasonable doubt that I have played this fucking level before. <laughs> but that first level is not something that looked at all familiar to me. I'm sure I've never seen it. God. Leo, when I was saying, like, I swear maybe I've played it before. I, c I can't stress how true that feeling is. I feel like I've played the fuck out of this game. What I'm experiencing right now, uh, internally, is why I never like playing demos. The fact that I've played this before makes me not want to play it at all. This, this, is, this is exactly why I usually don't play demos. I'm dead. Alright, let me find a different level. Alright, that was a bad example because I had experienced it before. A little bit of bias. I often love things I've experienced, so... I'm going to find any random stage and jump in it, and it's going to be nothing short of incredible. Look at this winner. Look at this guaranteed banger. I've, I've seen this level before. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt in my mind. <laughs> what the fuck hack did we find? Well, who the hell is Skelenio? How have I played this before? Think about it, like, okay, sure you guys have maybe never seen this. Do you think in any world I can experience all of this and not remember it and have nightmares about it? Of course not, that is not possible. Okay, uh, strongly on the probably not 100% in the sack train. I'm sure I'll run in here and this will just be a sick fucking ghost level. This does not immediately look familiar to me. Never seen it before. There's, there's, there's about a 0% chance I'm 100% in this game. Or a, a very low chance that I want to beat it as well. As much as I'd love to have this hack on my, my resume, I don't know if I have it in me. Leah, can you patch the Waluigi hack? What kind of door is this up here? Is this a key door? I'm going in that door. Spider's hack? I don't remember which hack it is. Alright, let's check out a cool Bowser level. You really can't fuck up a Bowser level. All Bowser levels are sick. They're just linear challenges, sick platforming. It's impossible to make a bad Bowser level. That's what I always say.
I think I think this area goes up up and up in a giant circle and that maybe I've seen it before. Why does this look familiar if that's not what happens? Wait, was there a star down here? Why is this down here? Ah, makes sense. Like I said, there's no way you can fuck up a bother level. Wow, a star and a red coin. Oh, you know, this shell existing makes a lot more sense now. I just assumed it was really hard. That lava? What the fuck? I must have missed a red coin in the beginning. I must have missed the red coin already. I don't care. I'm not going to 100% this game. I'm... Oh, I do care. Once I don't have to admit defeat, I care again. The true call to quality. Will this star remove me from the stage? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Absolutely. Perfect.